So continuing on the last page of the document, which is page eight, we'll add video this time. I'm going to press the W key just to show grids and guides and then import the video, which is a, an MPEG-4. Again, that is the best file format of video to import into InDesign. This time I'm given a miniature of a film strip in here. And if I then click and hold down the mouse and drag from the left hand margin down to the bottom here and let go of the mouse and our video appears or rather the very first frame appears, which is black on a black background. So there isn't a lot to see at the moment. Now that's called a poster. It's a placeholder, a still image of what the video looks like before it's played. Now at the moment that might leave the viewer slightly confused as to what's going on in this page. So if you go across to the media panel, you can drag along the timeline in there and reveal a preview of a different frame. Once you find a frame that's suitable, you can go down to post a frame, click on the drop down menu, and you can choose from one of these options. But in my case, I'm just going to hover to the symbol at the side and update the current frame that's going to be used for the poster. And then if I go up to the uh, control panel up at the top, I can choose to fill frame proportionally because it doesn't quite fill the frame in here. Just bear in mind, it will crop a little bit of the video out, but it does now at least match the uh, grid layout that I've got in here. And if I zoom up to the upper left hand side of this page so we can see the buttons, select the first one in here and that is set to be a restart video. And from the actions, click on the drop down menu. And again, you're just choosing one item in here. So for sound, it was sound and for video, click on video. It detects the MPEG file that's on the page or you could pick a different one from the drop down menu if there was one under options then I am oddly enough going to choose play because whenever you choose play in any of these interactive elements, it will restart that item. So leave it set to play. And then I'll click on the actual play button. Click on the plus menu, pick video. And on this occasion, it's going to be resume. Finally, click on the pause button. And then for the action, again, it's video options, pause. And with that done, I'll go to view, fit page in window, click away, go to file, choose save to capture those edits. And then we can preview the page. It does come with a skin as it's called in here. Um, and um, you can click on play there if you wanted to, or you could indeed use the button. So I could click on play, place through. If I go back to this one here, it will restart. If I click on pause, of course it pauses. But then if I click on the play button, which we've got rigged up to be resume, carries on where it's supposed to do. And that's how you add MPEG video into your layouts in InDesign.